Hello. <laughs> Ding dong. Hey. Hello. Okay, today was incredible. We saw our first two Broadway shows. Musical and play. And the same day. Um, I'm, I'm fine now, but that's... We, we can go home. We can go home. We can die. We're done. Good fucking god, it was great. So, Book of Mormon, first of all. Um, Everything it's cracked up to be? Yeah, pretty much. Like, it was hilarious and... Heartfelt. Heartfelt and it was also hilarious. It was also very funny. Very funny. Uh, the music hilarious. was great. The music was really good. The dance was great. numbers. The staging was great. The staging was amazing. The sets the set were like ridiculously cool. The theatre was awesome. Yeah, it was a really nice theatre. So what we did was spend a bunch of money on merchandise. Yep. But we got these shows. What what? Mine's just the Mine's show just logo. God's favorite musical, and then it's got the logo. And she looks like. And this is the yeah. Generic. This is their like costume. It's a cute. That's what you do. It's a cute idea. And we also got um, the zip program, which is highly informative. Oh, the like top five moment of life is when the guy handed us our first ever playbill. Yeah, like, we like he handed because I was walking first and he handed it to me and I was kind of went yeah thanks like I wasn't really paying attention to me yeah thanks. Then I kind of like was kept walking and looked down at my hand and I was like. I'm holding a playbill. Like I just got handed a playbill. It was pretty mind blowing. Like and we also saw the debut of what, yeah, who Delia was he Doherty. Mm -hmm. It was like the the spare African. Spare African. Oh yeah, the spare African. Yeah, that was spare African. <laughs> so, um, playbills. Not bad. We also got the program ticket. Um, which is a great program. Um, it's mm -hmm. a really good review. I would like to read it you. The Book of Mormon is a crowning achievement. Wait, is this the one? Yeah. For Parker Stone and Lopez. So good it makes me angry. If aliens come thousands of years from now and this is the record of our time on Earth, I will be absolutely satisfied with that. And that is John Stewart quote. And we saw John Stewart yesterday. <laughs> and this is a great program. Like, this is like better than programs we get. Like, this is like full on stuff. It's very in depth. Yeah, it's like really cool stuff. So, um, yeah, that show was really freaking good. And I understand exactly why it's. um. It's sold out for a year, and while our tickets were crazy expensive. We always got a cash play. Because it came with the program. I get, In a bundle. Package. So, very excited about that, because the songs were great. And, like, yes. I'd listened to about three of them. Yeah, I only knew the ones they sang on the Tonys, because I was like, a, like last year, because I was like, a, I was like, deliberately avoiding everything, because mm. I didn't I didn't want to know anything, so I was, I it was nearly completely new. I wanted to go bit and bit, so I'd seen... Some of them, like the House of Diga Evil Way number I'd seen, and I was like, this music House is of great. It's a great musical number, you guys. Um, and so, yeah, I think I, I had a, a balance that I was happy with of um, like recognition happiness yeah. with songs, and also I This Is New happiness. Yeah. And the. Um, Hello. The. Yeah, the, coordin like the coordination of the dance numbers and stuff was really. Like, the songs were just really good. Um, comic timing was like yeah, it was great, and the um, the new um, Elder Cunningham, who's the the chubby one, his voice is incredible because he's got this like I'm this guy, I'm <laughs> <don't forget. laughs> you're my best friend, I'm here, I'm here, I'm I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm guy, weird, make Star Wars references, but then like he it. sings and it's like this, and he's like, like nice. this is uh, good. Good, good. Well so thank you, Elder Cunningham. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Arnold. Yeah. For your efforts. So we saw that show. So then we went and saw a show. The show that I saw uh, ages ago. I saw the name of and I was like, oh yeah. What's this? Peter and the Starcatcher. Peter, like Peter Pan. And so I clicked it and I was like, oh mm -hmm. my god, it's like Peter Pan and Christian Ball's in it. And I was like, Nicola, look at this play. Christian Ball is in it. I was like, like, Christian Ball's in it. Christian Ball's in it. I'm in. So I don't care what it's right. about. And then we saw him in the Tony's like, hey, we're seeing this show. And then Christian Ball won. And we were like, hey, we're seeing this show. And we saw that show. And it far exceeded any expectations that I had. It was... Which my expectation was pretty much like, this will be like fun and we'll get to see Christian Ball. And it was 
mind blowing. It was like the greatest. And thing. Christian Ball was like a hundred times more amazing than I. Yeah, he expected. has been wasted in all his roles For real. Up until, except Spamalot. Like Spamalot was spot on, but <laughs> like. I mean, Smash? Really? Smash? What? He, you got Christian Ball. Like, let him, he's great. He's it's, great it's at Smash. It's lovely when they, when they let him do the musical. He's great at Smash, but like... Oh, I don't think you've seen the episodes where he gets to do... No, I only watched half of it. He gets better. But the not point really. Is, he's, this is beyond... The man is a god. He, he played this... He played like the villain. He played Hook. He, it was like a prequel to Peter Pan. And he played the Hook character. Black Stash. And it, it was this like outrageous villain and on, oh my god, it was, oh, he is amazing. Like, beyond amazing. His faces, there was this one bit. This one bit, you guys, and we're going to Should we spoil it? it? Yeah. Well, the thing is. You're not going to see it. You're not going to see it because we go, we go back to the hotel we're like Facebooking to like freak out about it. Yeah. Um, and I looked at my playbill.com emails and it was like, this upcoming week on Broadway. And it said, Saturday the 30th. That's tomorrow. Mm. And I was like, well, it's your last chance to see Christian Borle and Peter in the Starcatcher because he has to go film Smash. And we were like, ah. Do you know how easily we, we could have not booked? I could have booked any day. And yeah. I ended up booking today because I looked up, like, because I think it was the second tickets we booked. And I looked up Book of Mormon and I was like, oh yeah, it's close. So Why don't we just go. smack it in the same day? And that was the greatest decision possible because we could have missed it. Okay, the show is fantastic, and it's absolutely worth like worth oh, seeing. Yeah, full price tickets, worth seeing, absolutely. Yeah. But Christian Ball just Ball. just like stole stole the show, man. He <sighs> is just out. So it's like an ensemble cast. It's like it's like a small cast, like a dozen people, and they play all Fluid. the roles. They're Fluid. all. So they're all sort of on stage at all the time, and they play the sets, and they play like there's narration uh, and narration, stuff, and they like sort of share narration. The way that they staged it is, we were just like, it, we, uh, yeah. off we our were, we're as I was trying to say, it, we were like as entertained by the content, like the the jokes in the show that the characters were saying yeah. were great, great and hilarious, really and like really this is like really like offbeat timing. references, and the timing was like. Crazy. It was really fast, uh, was like, like constantly. Puns. You had to be like going like this because it was, it yeah, was like, so, that was? so yeah, quick. Yeah, it was great. And then there was like physical humor, was great. The slapstick was um, really good. Great. And there was music. The music. Um, there was like a couple yeah, songs. Was, the the songs music cues. That was great. And the acting was brilliant, obviously. But we were equally entertained by the way that the way they, they staged the, the direction, it. the staging was. It was incredible. Like honestly. They did, did, Things and it, it was, no, I can't it even it no words. So good. The hell they these ropes. Ro yeah, they used, they used ropes, ropes as doorways. Incredibly. And as like markers for the floor, so there was like a bit where they were on the front mm -hmm. of the ship, and it was just this rope. And there's a bit where they were going like up and down the ship, and so you, you were following like so some kind because they were going up, and some kind of were going down. And the rope was like that. Honestly, it was insane. It's so like minimal creative set. and genius, and like the way they coordinated everybody, so like. In one second they'd be over here being a doorway, and then yeah. in the next second somebody would take something off them, and then they'd become like a tree. Like it was. And then somebody walked. There was a bit where they. She walked. <sighs> she opened the door. Like there was oh a wall. Gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! There's a wall. She people. opened the door, which is just like she. Ta someone pulled someone back, and then the the people making up the wall all came into the room and then did the scene. Yeah. So of like, the room. This, and she's in the middle. What's, this is what. This is what's in, in this the room. room. And she's like, oh my god, she's, she's opening these doors. And then she goes, oh my gosh, and she closes the door and everyone goes back into the wall. We could, it was magic, you could I see exactly what was going on, like, but it was still magic. We were just like, I it's can't, beautiful. I didn't know even know how to, but the point, the point so with that bit. one bit, in the second act, mm. it was the part where Hook loses his hand. Like it's the yeah. story of how Hook loses his hand. Basically like the whole story goes around these two trunks, like the, like trunks, you know, like boxes. Yeah. And um, so in the second act, he closes the trunk, basically. And everyone's there. Angrily. He closes the trunk. He goes, he goes, I hate. He goes, I hate, I hate. He's like yelling. He's mad at it because it, something, it wasn't what he wanted in it. And so he, he smacked the trunk down on his hand, right? Well, he smacked the trunk down. That's the what you down. saw. That's what you saw because he's behind the trunk and the trunk's... So that's all we saw. And then it kind of took a couple of seconds and his face just went... Like, we, we can't we're do not it. even trying to do it. We're not going to try and do it. 
it was this horrified look, and then no one so realized. His mouth was enormous. His eyes were. But the, the way it started, it was just this kind of shock, and everyone in the audience took cups and everyone went, "Ah, oh, he's, yeah. ch- he's he's kind of." No, it's like, well, he's just severed his hand, and that's how he's but become hooked. And this react silence, this face, absolute absolute silence. He's just it's just expressing fa- for his minutes shock and pain, pain and shame and it's, all of this. I can't like, even, I've just severed my own hand. Everyone on stage is like this, looking at him like, yeah. oh, and he's happening? just like shaking and doing this face, and the audience the like starts face. off like laughing, laughing, and, and then, then just going, okay, "Holy shit, this what? is a whole new level of amazing." Because it would do that bit where everyone's like, laughing, everyone's and he's still going, going. He's like, on like doing levels. different levels of it, and then like it was the laughter waiting comes for... again. And I said, I said to Alicia, I was like, "This must be so hard for the cast." Because everyone's were waiting for someone to break, and some guy did break so him right in the front, right in the front, just went shake, and then the audience laughed more. And then he put his hand yeah. in his mouth. He went. And then he went. One guy did it. On, did it already. He he obviously breaks every time. He, he yeah, started out like this. He's like, oh no. And then everyone else was kind of like. And then right out the front. <laughs> but and seriously, the audience was uh, like, more of that. Were and so, hey, dying. Oh. And it was minutes of this this, this face. <sighs> it was, I think that's what won him. That's what won him the Tony. It because kept. He is fantastic. Like going. from his first line as this character, even his first line because he was kind of in the chorus first. Yeah. In that. Yes, yeah, so, so like even though he played this like big character, he was also all the other roles. Yeah, because everyone's in, play, everyone's also all the time. So he comes on as an ensemble member in, in, as his first thing, and he just says something about dreams because they're talking about mm. dreams, and just the way he delivered that we're like, we're like, Chrissy B, love you, bro. But yeah, the, just the, the way he did this character and the slapstick, the timing, like him and Smee, they're. The, where I'm watching it just going. We need to just do this. Like, I had I had high like hopes for Peter Panto. Like I had a lot, and now I'm like, there's a couple of things that we will directly steal. Yeah, there was there was a couple of things we were like stealing that. <laughs> Fantastic bits. Like there were jokes. Like I don't know. It sounds silly to explain it, but like how he was saying he said the wrong words. Yeah. Hilarious. Oh my god. And the way Smee. There was a bit where Smee. What was that? He was like making noises. Yeah. Yeah, and like he said, he knew that he said something wrong. So he was like, mm-hmm. he was like oh, I can't remember. And then it was a bit where like he'd left his hand on Smith's shoulder, oh, and he was like, yeah. Yeah. and he's going, what is something? Is it something? But everyone like in the car just had such incredible comic timing and just physical comedy was just. And that didn't like lifting each other up for stunts. And yeah, stuff. there was like a swimming scene where he's like, he's th- that bit where he was thrown off the boat into the ocean so he was kind of up in people's arms and they threw him and the way they did it they kind of brought him down and the ropes changed and then they brought him back up and then the lights changed and he was swimming and then, and then the, the Wendy girl. character who's Molly he's like Wendy's mom it's Wendy's what? future mom comes on like, like on someone's shoulders what like coming swimming? to save him but um, it was just it was so tight knit it was so concise and yeah, it was a machine. It was a, a theatre machine. Incredible to watch. It was incredible. It was like watching. Anyway, World we're doing the lottery for tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna go see it again. Immediate mall. Cause, and cause it's his last show, so. Um, well, or his penultimate show, depending, depending on which one we get. Because there's there's a matinee tomorrow and an evening show. We're gonna lottery for the matinee. And yeah. if not, get lottery for the evening. That that show though, man. We were just like. It was one bit where, what was it? I think it was when they were doing something wow. Oh, it was the door bit. It was the door bit that I was explaining earlier. And Nicholas went, ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I oh, know. I oh, know. Yeah. It was just up. Uh, and, was... and the ocean bit. I was leaning forward to look because, like, my eyesight's bad these days and we're, like, at the back. So I wanted to see people's faces. So I was, like, Still I was really leaning forward, like, so pinching. Um, really good view. And so when, when that, that ocean drowning bit came, I turned to Alicia, like, yeah, we were just like, we're taking this at each other. But, it was the most. It was so inspiring. Like I, I spent that. Book of Mom was really inspiring as well. Like I, in the dance numbers, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, like I, there were bits where I just really, I really loved, and the way they were, Book of Mom was fantastic. Like don't get us wrong. Like if we'd done this vlog after Book of Mormon, it would have been this, this yeah. intense because we were like talking about Book of Mormon over dinner a lot and how much how it's good a, it was. It's a, fun drink. it's a great. It's, fun it's drink. fantastic. But we've just come back from Peter and it's just and Peter just blew our minds. Like. 
Like, I didn't I think, expect I that. I think maybe, yeah, maybe because we went in with lower expectations. Yeah, because we Pokemon, Pokemon, we had very high expectations. Everyone's saying it's the best show ever. We had super high Sold expectations for $300 tickets. Sorry. And it met those expectations. It absolutely. absolutely 100% like, we've been. It was a great get first Broadway show to see. Yeah, oh my god, it was great. Right. Right. Um, but yeah, this uh, star just blew our minds. And ate our hearts. Yeah, it was just... It, like, I just spent the whole time just being so, like, I felt like my life was being enriched. Like, it was just this. For real. And I was so, yeah, so inspired. Just, like, and just so grateful to be there. <sighs> and the audience was really, really responsive and everyone was like laughing. It was so funny. Uh, and um, another thing, <sighs> there was a spotty standing ovation for Book of Mormon. There was lots of Yeah, we didn't stand up. Book of Mormon, we actually. didn't stand up. There were people in front of us who didn't stand up. Yeah. Um, we loved it, obviously, but. Uh, we don't stand. Yes, we, we don't stand. stand. Like stand American easily. standing ovation yeah. for every fucking thing. Like yeah, yeah. everything they stand for. But anyway, and where we're stuck we don't stand for shit. But we we stood straight up there. Everywhere was uh, it just every yeah the entire uh, the and entire then, uh, uh, we stage doored. <sighs> oh yeah, wouldn't you? Oh wait, no, and wait, it was the it was such a lovely stage door. We got cut. We got these cups. They came free with the drinks. Sorry, I saw people in the audience with them, and I was like. Are they selling those or are they going with drinks? So like in the I had like five minutes left of intermission. I was like, I'm gonna go see if they're selling them. So I ran to the bar and I realized they were giving them away with whatever drink. So I just got two drinks and I come back and I sat down just as the lights coming down. I was like, anyway, so this cup. I also um, got a um a keychain which is it's like a, it's like rope <laughs> with a with a knot on it yeah. and it says Peter and Stack. <laughs> yeah, we didn't um, get to get the proper merchandise because they closed down the booth at the end of the show. Yeah, it was a bummer. But, but we'll get some more we'll, we'll Um I just, I love this because, like, rope isn't like a major plot point in the show. It's like, it's used within the show in that, like, they t- people get tied up a couple times, but the main use of the rope was as a prop, as, as a set, as props. And the fact that that's what their merchandise mm-hmm. commemorates is the set, I love that. And so I really love this keychain. Yeah. They had a, like, a bracelet, like a, like a woven bracelet. I'm going to go back and get that one. I really like that. Anyway, so the point is we um, stage doored. Lovely stage door environment. It was Everyone great. Was really Everyone nice. was really, really lovely. We Everyone were, like, really behind the couple people who were getting photos. Like, they were dedicated to getting photos of everything, yeah. but in a nice way. And everyone kind of came out and they would do Everyone was really lovely. Um, we Especially got, Molly. We ta- I talked to... I was kind of... Nick had the camera and I was, like, kind of there with the playbill, like doing this thing so like I thank you and saying great. thank you you were great whatever uh, so I, I got um I talked to uh, the guy who played Peter guy who played Smee um the token black guy he was lovely he's like hey because he came out and I was like woo and he was like oh that's good <laughs> um also Hank Azaria came out I didn't see Hank Azaria yeah when I was like that's Hank Azaria I didn't hear that Hank Azaria came out and everyone was sort of didn't say anything and I was like what's Hank Azaria doing here it was also was Patrick Wilson also there I didn't tell Patrick Wilson. I'm pretty sure Patrick Wilson was there, but I was like too focused over there. I was like, is that Patrick Wilson? And then I was just distracted, but I was like, Patrick Wilson. Hank Azaria was in Spam with Chrissy B. Well, maybe they'd be a bad. Oh! Oh, were they hugging? No, he came out way earlier. And I was just like. I, I was just obviously freaking out about something else. But anyway, so I, yeah, we got like a bunch of signatures. Um, and I chatted to, yeah, just to, I say chat, I mean like, and the, they were so lovely because they gave their eye contact and they were like, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, the guy who played Peter was a lovely. He was so good about taking photos. Yeah, and he was like smiling for all the photos he and like leaning really in when nice he had set. to. And yeah, he was, and he was like, oh, thank you so much. Nice. And he was kind of reaching Smee for people's well, playboys really for the back. Because we were kind of, he was lovely. anyway, um, and then um, Christian Ball comes out and obviously he was taking longer. Because we were kind of, stage door was like this long, we were like here. So he's coming around this way. So he was kind of doing all the photos and stuff there, and then he came around to us, and we were just watching him like. We didn't get a photo or anything. Cause no. We also, he wasn't smiling out. for the photos. <laughs> he was just, this is the photo. He You're the fan. I'm Christy, Christy B. Yeah. Um, uh, which is, for, which is for, you could tell he was uh, exhausted. I, yeah. Like he spent the second act with a with a just consistently pink face. That he's yelling. He's. Rolling he around. must go home and just he does crash. That thing. I don't know how he does two shows on the no, Saturday. No, it's insane. But he, um, he was lovely, like really genuine, mm-hmm. like polite and friendly, and, but so, and not like, as like, like. Can I get a photo? Sure, no it's problem. It's like sure, no problem. Yeah. Like he was just it's really fine. polite and everything, but he wasn't like, hey guys, like um, yeah. like Smee. Remember the, the Smee's photo? Yeah. When he took a photo of someone, he was like, and we were like, huh. 
At one point we had to part the Red Sea because someone was getting a photo. Someone was taking a photo from behind us yeah. of, of this. So everybody yeah. so decided so to go. The girl who's had oh. her photo taken was right in front. And yeah. she's like, oh, Sarah, can you get... And she's right at the back. And so, and so we're, um, everyone went. People were like, oh, where's this photo be taken? Yeah, we're part of the sea of fans. It's quite funny. The photo can be taken. Anyway, so Christian Ball um, uh, came over to us, obviously, because he was. Uh, yeah. And yeah. I kind of gave him a paper, signed a paper, and this is the conversation we had. I said, oh my god. I don't think No, you didn't. Oh my god. I said, we're such fans, and you were ridiculous, and thank you. Yeah, and he kind of looked over. He's like, thank, he, "Thank you." The way he like, and I, and then he, and then as he gave my paper back, and I said, "And congrats on the Tony," sort of thing. And he kind of he gives you this like, like, yeah. So I like, thank you, like a real. He wasn't just like other things. It was like, thank you, like looks into your eyes, you know. And I was like, <laughs> anyway, so we chatted with them. I said, chatted like. And now we're best friends, and here he is, and that. Oh no, unfortunately, we're, we're not wearing pants, so. Um. So we did that. That was what we did. Just, you know. So tomorrow, we got to get back to the theatre at 12 to do the lottery. We're like forfeiting <laughs> this comedy thing that we could go to. But we just do it on Sunday. Yeah. Anyway, the point is, Parents oh, Starcatcher is amazing. Life changing shit. And it should, and it's, uh, it is ju- horrifying that Christian Ball is leaving to do Smash. I mean, really? It's really sad. Oh, I feel like he's really upset about it. Like, he might love Smash, but. At, yeah, that probably loved, like the the exposure that he gets with Smash. Yeah, but I think a lot of you, mm-hmm. I was Do hearing at the stage door people mentioning Smash. And I was oh, like, really? I wonder how many people like probably know him from many. Smash. Like, probably just. A I don't couple. think that many people watch Smash who don't. And stage care door at Broadway shows. Yeah, I know exactly. They wouldn't be like this guy. I know. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just maybe it was like Megan Hilton. But Chris, I think that he would have had pre-established fans. Like we, like we were pre-established fans because we were like, oh, this show Smash. I'm like, oh my god, it's, Anna. it's that guy, Chris and, Ball. We like it, and not dead Fred. And it's Megan Hilty. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so he's going to do Smash, and it's just such a shame because he only got to that show for three months, and. Oh, fuck. But. Incredible. In. Inconceivably. Incredible. And mm. it's just, it was such a, it looked like such a fun show to be in. Same with Book of Mormon. I was actually thinking Book of and Mormon. Also, like, if you were a guy in Book of Mormon, so it was fun. Yeah, both shows, total sausage. So, but, yeah, but, Peter Sackett to the cast, 11 guys or something, hmm, and one, one chick. Girl, one chick. And she played the same role. She played Molly. Mm. Um, oh, and the way, the way they stuff. tied, because I, I love, I love Peter Pan. Like, it's one of my, like, I love Peter Pan. And at the end, they kind of, all the way through, it's clues when you see how, Everyone becomes the characters Aww. that they're going to be in Peter Pan. It took a while to realize that the kitchen timer was going to get end up in the crocodile. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it was kind of it was like slightly off. Um, but the way, yeah. So then, so there's hints and like little bits. You go, okay, like he gets the name Peter Pan. Like he doesn't have a name. At the start. Which is the which is great. It's the way such they did a the name beautiful is name. Beautiful. It comes. It's Peter first, and then like in Pan the kitchen. comes in. So cute. And like stuff like that. And the way the reason why Hook and Peter, um, Peter Pan are enemies and like all that is established um, in in, cr- in creative ways, um, but and at the end, and there's the mermaids, yeah, and the, the natives, but they're not Indians; they're crazy Italians. Yeah, they're like Italian and island. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing like this island chant behind these leaves, <laughs> and they're like, oh, the, 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 the lasagna, yeah. like they're yeah, the words that were like, and the, the, Pulciano, yeah, the, Monte Pulciano, Monte Pulciano, and the guy like <laughs> that, their leader, he'd be like. Like, right, prosciutto, like, let's go, lasagna. Let's and then they go off and he keeps saying it. Prosciutto, prosciutto. Um, and it was oh, quite funny. But the point is, uh, what I was trying to say is, at the end, when they tie up everything, I was like crying. I was so like oh, the way that, oh, and then the last line of the show, like you know, I was gonna watch this. The last <laughs> line of the show is the reason why Peter ends up. On, in the, on Neverland Island with the Lost Boys and like the last line is um, an awfully big no it's not awfully big adventure awfully big adventure mm-hmm. he says an awfully big adventure and then he kind of gets lifted up and then he does the crow and I was like <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it was so happy it was really nice 
Yeah. It was just beautifully told. And their books, so I really want to read the books now. Yeah. Because their books. Um, but God, that show, fuck that show. Also, um, our Usher. How good was Asha? She was like 100 the years old. Tiniest little woman you've ever seen. Tiny little Jewish grandma. Tiny. No teeth. No teeth. Huge eyes. And so we come and we give her tickets and she goes, okay. All right. You want to go to the middle? Go up two rows. Go right. Don't forget right. And we're like, thanks. Thanks. Lady. And she, she was, she was so hilarious. great. She was so like intense about her job. That theatre was it. gorgeous as well. Like and that was both beautiful, it's super ornate. ornate. Yeah, like, just, just like older. You know, it looked sort of baroque. Mm. Um, like all the, uh, but then somehow they'd integrated. Yeah. What do you call that bit of the, the front of the stage? Arch. Yeah. They integrated bits of like there were mermaids and there was a giant pineapple mm. on the front. But it was integrated yeah, so yeah, flawlessly. Yeah. Like we just thought, we're like, oh, look yeah. at this theater. This theater's nice, and that's and then we're like, this man, part of the theater is awfully relevant yeah. to the plot of the show. It was incredible the way they did that, and the Book of Mormon as well. The way they did that that arch, it was all the whole thing. It was like the sides and everything was all like the heavens, um, and then it went to space. So there was like planets, and then the heavens, um, and the proscenium arch was like a ch- the the church, like a I don't know how else you'd explain it, like a the church. Sp- of church with like an angel that moved but there's a bit in the in the play where um they retell the story of the book of mormon and in a like shambles way and they had a like a crappy replica of the presidian arch like it in their play and it was like that was a really good um, that was a really cool part of it like yeah the south park like I was thinking like the way that the South Park humour, it just so effortlessly like worked in the musical setting. And Trey and Matt are so intelligent. Like the stuff they say in the program, you're like, oh my god, these guys know what's up. So that like the which is great. Brilliant lyrics and and um and storytelling. Yeah. But really also good. just the songs were just the great songs were great fantastic. Musical songs. Really good like Big really catchy, Broadway yeah. songs. Nice key changes. Great key. I love a good key Rousing change. Rousing shit. Man. So we've seen two Broadway shows today. You know. And tomorrow we had no solid, no solid plans for tomorrow, but now we have the opportunity to. Now we're gonna go with the lottery. I'll try the lottery. Or just like go up to the theater like this. We love you. We love you. Not like that, that's really gross. Now, these other shows are going to have to, you know, work pretty hard. Yeah, Because... I was about to say I wish we'd seen this last, but (laughs) no, because then we would have missed Christian Ball. If I mentioned who Christian Ball was. I'm just like... He was... Probably the best performance I've ever seen of anyone in anything. Yeah. Yeah. Like... In, that, that's including like us in Panto. He was, he was just he was better. That. He just you know us. what? He did better. He did a better Bruce face, and he was a better villain, villain. than Noble. What's your guy's name? Noble. That's how good he was. He did a bit where he like called, us. called one of his crewmates to like um, go like this, and he could put his feet on it. And it was like, hmm. yeah, did. yeah. I like they broke the fourth wall a couple times. Like not quite. But yeah. the way they were like, get out of this, let's get out of the scene. Yeah. He goes, hey, the, the crocodiles are eating all the scenery. Not in my scene. <laughs> Not in my scene. And then, and they're like, abort. What was it? Like abort scene or whatever. Yeah. And then they were like, Except scene. scene. And there's another bit. Oh, there's a bit. The start where they break the fourth wall, where they're like, there's a wall of people again facing the back, and then there's like a flying cat, which is on, on a sort of fishing rod, like this. <laughs> and then like one by one, they turn around and go, please imagine that there is a flying cat. As though it's suspended, you know, from, suspended a from a stream. Slowly, slowly flying. These guys don't have to imagine because it's actually happening. But it was like, <laughs> and then it was in where mm-hmm. um, the Black Stash is getting really excited about how he and Peter are going to have like a rivalry that'll. And he goes, they'll write books, they'll be in films, it'll go on Broadway. Broadway. And everyone's like, no, 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 you're on Broadway. Right. You're on Broadway. <laughs> and like, little. Um, pop culture references where where would Pete, it make Peter's sense like, like it's um 
well, Molly's a better runner than me and she's better at shooting. And he's like, oh, and I bet the, your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And everyone was like, it's like said oh. in the 1800s. Everyone was like, there's was a couple of references near the end where it was good because like the first act was so snappy. Like, I mean, like you had to focus on what yeah. was happening because was there like, was no I'm really lost. I'm scared. At the start, I was kind of like, oh my God, what's going on? What's the storyline? And I was like, okay, I got it, I got it. But it was just <laughs> line after line. It was no, just like this. And the scene changes were like, bam, 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 bam. And then in the second act, it was a bit more. Yeah, slow down. Because basically, this in the um, at the end of the first act, Peter ends up on the island, on ne- which ends up being Neverland. Because they're on a ship for the first one, and then they're on Neverland. And um, oh, the way that they did the two ships, like because there was the pirate ship, and then there was the other ship, and so they showed like the two crews just on either side of the stage, with okay. one was blue lighting, one was red lighting, with the rope in the middle, and then they were like, "Oh, we see you," sort of thing, or whatever they were saying. Oh, here we come, and then. The way that they got onto the boat is they just jumped. They just jumped over the rope <laughs> and then they moved the rope backwards. And then the like, lighting went to the, one, to the one ship's colour. God, that's... Uh, there was also, with the references, lots of really highbrow references. Yes. And there was like, was like glass this opera. is as useful, useful, useful um, as the melody in a Philip Glass opera. No, elusive. And people were like, ha 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 ha. Elusive as a melody. Oh, elusive, that's what was that Elusive as a melody. Um, and then there was opera. like... Uh, there was one Proust. about um, oh, Proust. Yeah, Proust. I didn't even hear what the word no, was because he said it so fast, Proust. but it's something about Proust. And there was a guy, uh, probably he was like, ha ha, Proust! Yeah, he loved it. <laughs> Proust jokes. Yeah, okay. It's like, okay then. Yeah, we laughed really hard at one of the references. A book of Mormon obviously had so many pop cultural references. Oh my god. One where, um, some great ones. Some great. Great. One where we laughed and the people, we, we were kind of the only ones laughing really loudly around us. Like, we like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sort of. And there was one where the people in front of us, like, um, he goes, Japan? The land of soy sauce and Mothra. And then the chicken in front of me was like, what's Mothra? But um, they were eating a sandwich as well. Like, <laughs> I got there <laughs> in this board with they eating a sandwich. We're like, oh, yeah. Was that bit. I can't even remember what the joke was, but I think when he was like manning up and he was like buying things. Yeah. No, that no, wasn't it. Anyway, there's a really good Darth Vader came out, and I feel like something else okay. came out that we were. Uh, well, it was a horror. Came out. Like, but the whole audience was like, "Yeah." Okay, I need to go to the bathroom really bad now, so we should end this vlog. Point is, great day, and now all the details are captured forever for us to yeah. Top five future day. us to look back on. You welcome future us. We walked around in the heat a lot today for you, future yeah, us. Really warm. Goodbye. I bailed on that. Yeah. Life doesn't even matter anymore. No, it's awesome. We're done. I don't care about anything. This is it. Christian Ball is so good. I'm not even doing a bit anymore.